are back in the daytime kitchen with Margaret and Sarah, and we're talking about these peanut haystacks. Is that what it is? Yeah, I wish you could haystacks. smell it because even before we get going, mm. it smells wonderful. <laughs> Nothing this. like peanut butter and butterscotch. I know, right? Except maybe chocolate. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you could easily substitute chocolate in for butterscotch. Yeah. If you for Halloween, it would look like spiders. It's kind of cute. For oh, kids. that's a good okay. idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You could decorate them. Yeah. All right, so what do we need to do? So, this is a very easy recipe. All we did was we melted the butterscotch chips in peanut butter in the microwave. I can do that. And I about can do 20 that seconds too. at a time. <laughs> and then, if you guys just want to add the chow mein noodles and the peanuts. Okay. All right. I'll get the stir. And I guess in. people with peanut allergies, you could easily just leave yep. the peanuts out. Well, this. you got the peanut butter, peanut butter so. Too. Mm -hmm. oh, that's true. Maybe not the best allergy friendly. Right. There you go. <laughs> it's about a cup of each. Okay. And you just, I'll just go Stir it together, mm -hmm. and I just use a tablespoon, so they're all the same size, and scoop them out, and you put them on a cookie sheet and put them in the refrigerator. And that's it? That's and you're it. done. And you're done. <laughs> that is way too easy. I know, that is way My too easy. My kids can make this recipe, I'm telling you. <laughs> and this is kid friendly, so they can get in there and they can get their fingers a little dirty and, and yes. actually feel like they've contributed to this. That's right. That's right. And we refrigerate it? Refrigerate it till they're set. Or it took yeah. a couple hours. Okay. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And that then time. Do yeah. it before right. that time. Do it the night before right. for a party. Yeah. You get up, you got a treat. That's right. Yeah. right. That is so good, so easy. Mm -hmm. Help yourselves. And this is this is in the Oh My Stars cookbook. That's right. Talk a little bit about the cookbook and where we can get it. So the best place to get it is going to be at the stocked market because, okay. of course, you can get everything that you need for the holidays and then some at the stocked market. So, um, and also by contacting the Junior League office. So they're mm -hmm. available. We have a large inventory of them. That's one of the ways that we raise money for um, the Junior League as well as the stocked market are two major fundraisers. Yeah, and yeah. it's pretty popular, right? People love it. The cookbook? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've well, probably the stock market's popular, too. Oh, yeah, it's all yeah. popular. Yeah, yeah right. Popular. Um, but yes, and I was saying earlier, it's great for gifts for people who aren't from the area to learn some of our treasures and mm -hmm. some of the treats that we have to offer. And even when I got it, somebody gave it to me, they marked their favorite recipes, which is really oh, nice. That's fun. Smart. That's, That's a little personalized nice. touch yeah. on right. it. Mm -hmm. Right. Exactly. Yeah. And you said this is a fundraiser for you all. What types of things do you all do that, that benefit uh, folks? So our focus is empowering women and strengthening families, and all of our funds are given back to the community to organizations through grants. Yeah. So we're a volunteer organization of women. They join as members, and then together we work on volunteer programs. We develop the potential of the women, so as volunteers <coughs> and leaders within the community, and then, of course, we're able to give back through service projects and grants and, and making a big impact. We see their news releases in the newsroom all the time. They do a lot out in the lot. community. So yes. this is certainly a, a great way of supporting their mission and also the stock market, too, which is when? Yeah. November, November 10th through 12th. Um, at the Berglund Center, and Friday morning is our preview coffee, and then Saturday we have Homegrown Market, and we have a drop-in shop for kids. Um, Bricks for Kids has a kids' corner, and so parents oh, can leave nice. their kids and shop without them for an hour. I it love is on that. My calendar. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? All right, get all the details jlrv.org for more information. Of course, we're going to share this recipe on our website, daytimeblueridge.com. Ladies, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for, for having, having us. us.